All right, so I'm here marking a floor. Just wanted to illustrate how rough it can be. It's uh, just a piece of drywall, about three eighths of an inch thick. Probably another quarter underneath that. So we're looking at about a half inch gap there. Right here is the high spot. Nothing underneath that. It's just standing all on its own. So now, if I understand correctly, some people say that I would actually only put one end on the high spot. And if there's no 3 16 inch or quarter inch gap underneath this thing, which there is not, there's probably a fat eight underneath that side. I just want to make sure that I understand what everybody's saying as far as how to check how everybody checks their floors. So I've got this all the way up to the wall. I can't go any further. But as you can see, There is no gap more than a quarter inch. But if you put it in right there, right on the hump, right in the center, oops, put it over, you can see that it's all the way at a half inch. To me, this section is out of tolerance. I'm not sure if I'm doing this the way others would, but I'd like to know. And also, just real quick, this is how I actually go about finding high spots on a concrete floor. As you're sliding it, and I let it drop, you can actually take your 10-foot edge, rock it back and forth, and let your edge mark where exactly the high spot is. Now for me, how I mark it, I'm going to tell the concrete guys I want you to grind this. So, there you go.